As a teenager, Hope had a serious eating disorder. She thought she'd got through it after treatment, but last year a family bereavement triggered a relapse. She was offered therapy, but was told there would be a 12-week wait. News, she said, was devastating. The way I was treated last year wasn't right. Like, there were points when I did want to kind of end everything and when I never thought I'd ever be well again. And it was at those points that I was so angry and annoyed at the system. Because when you cry out for help, you already feel guilty because you've got this voice in your head telling you that, like, you shouldn't be eating, you shouldn't be asking for help. So when you do call out for help and then you get turned away, you then think that actually no one does care about you, no one kind of understands what you're going through. To cut down waiting times and expand mental health services, the government has announced an expansion of the workforce. We've worked out exactly how many more doctors, nurses, therapists that we need. Uh, we've worked out where we think we can get them from. Uh, like all plans, it will be challenging to deliver it, but we are determined to um, hold true to our promise to transform mental health services. The plan for mental health staffing involves an extra 21,000 posts in England by the 2020 financial year. This will include children's services, adult talking therapies and crisis care. But official figures show there was a fall of more than 5,000 in the number of mental health nurses in England between March 2010 and March this year. The new recruitment drive has been welcomed by the Royal College of Nursing, though leaders say it'll be hard to achieve at a time of public sector pay restraint and the abolition of free tuition for new nurse trainees in England. How are we going to do that in such a short time scale when other policies, other, other government policies are actually getting in the way of that? So we already know we've got one in ten posts in mental health vacant, so we've got to fill those as well as putting ad additional nurses in. Mental health professionals like Mandy Stevens believe that the pressures of the job are affecting recruitment. She says in her experience, more staff are leaving than joining. The emotional toll on the individual nurses I think can be very difficult, making sure people are getting supervised. I think that the pay has had an impact on nurses over the past few years um, and you know it's quite difficult uh, to, to make ends meet on, a, on such a low salary. As for Hope, she says she's pulled through her latest mental health setback, but she believes a lot more needs to be done to ensure people get the care they need when they need it. Hugh Pym, BBC News.